What's up guys? It is pretty early right now for me. I am exhausted right now, but I wanted to vlog today because, well, first of all, I miss vlogging and I miss you guys. So welcome back. I know it's been a little bit of a hiatus since vlogmas. Kind of always is like that for me. I just need a little bit of time and then I'm like really excited to come back and vlog again. Life has been really good lately and um, I'm really happy and I miss you guys though. Like I miss filming. I haven't filmed anything in a few weeks, which is kind of weird. So um, today is a good day to vlog because today is the Women's Rights March in downtown LA. It is like 9 30 and there is already so many people on the streets outside i just walked squirtle and it's just like incredible this is a huge march so me megan and kenzie are marching today it's so early for me right now and i'm a little bit like ugh, i went out last night so i'm a little bit out of it but um just need a little coffee need a little energy right now <laughs> All right, guys, we officially started in our march. I'm with Meg and Kenzie, my girlies, and this is our sign. It says Pussy Grab the Back. Megan um, made it. Megan made it. It's pretty iconic. It was her idea. <laughs> and there is so many people. There has never been this many people downtown in my life during the Black Lives Matter Matter March. Like, I want to say that this is double the size. Of yeah, this is absolutely huge. Marching since like 8 a.m. or something. Since I woke up, nonstop. I actually stopped right now because I think just because there's so many people. Pussy grabs back. Album poster on the side of the street that she talked to on the live. I went to Kaylani's. Well, I go to all of her Instagram lives. She's been doing a lot later lately to promote the new album. I like said on the chat, send hearts if you're gay for Kay, because I am gay for Kaylani. She raised her eyebrow and goes, "Living like Lindsay, who are you, girl?" For the past hour, have been standing with people, like getting ready to march, but the march hasn't. I mean, it's kind of started, but it just started. Um, it's just there's so many people here. We're going to grab a drink, a coffee at like Dunkin' Donuts real quick and hydrate a little bit, um, and then go back to the march. Right now, where are we? Where are we, Meg? Last bookstore. <laughs> We're at the last bookstore downtown, and I've actually never been here, and it's like beautiful. It's super big, and I'm kind of living for it. So. There's two levels, which is cool, because downtown usually everything's like really small, so it's weird seeing a place that's so big, but. Oh, hey guys. Wow. Whoa. Hello, this is sweet. Yeah, there's a little book cave. Made out of real books. This place just keeps going, it never ends. Isn't it cool though? Yeah, it's really cool. Kenzie has been here, but none of the rest of us have been here before. Quite a few times. Quite a few times, yeah. Me and the last bookstore, we go way back. It is now about 6.15. Whoa. We're at my place. It's just me and Meg now. It was me, Meg, Finley, and Kenzie for a while. That was like our group. Squad. And then, yeah, that was our squad. And then I think the last time I talked to you guys was in the last bookstore, which was awesome. I definitely will be returning there. Yeah, we just kind of walked through, but it was really cool. Like, if you're just in the area, I had never been in. Like, I know, we had never, we had never been, been in, we were like, that. wait, we need to do this. Like, I, I passed by it so much, Kenzie, yeah, Kenzie yeah. had been there, so she kind of guided us around. But then we just went back to Megan's and kind of like took a break and chilled for a bit. I ended up taking a nap because I was so tired from just, I guess, waking up this morning and doing the thing. Um, but today was so cool. Apparently there was over 500,000 people downtown, which is absolutely insane the most so crazy good. and alive i've ever seen downtown it was so cool so definitely a good day to be a a downtowner and you know a a sorry the dogs are really loud the dogs are so loud but anyway we're gonna watch a movie right now we're just kind of chilling and just gonna have like a girls night in we were gonna go out tonight but then we thought don't have the energy or at least i thought that and i think you kind of did too oh uh, yeah don't have the energy to get ready for that so let's not i'd rather just chill with my dudes all right so we're on instagram live right now Hey guys, me and Meg are live. Hello. Peace up. <laughs> Maurice chilling in the back. Greetings. I'm doing a face mask now, obviously. Megan left maybe like an hour or so ago. I'm listening to some new Kehlani. 
This is her newest single, Do You Dirty. It is incredible. And I'm about to do a little bit of cleaning. I have like some laundry back there and then just kind of like a mess from the past two days that I wanna clean up so when I wake up tomorrow, I won't see it and I'll feel like, huh, you know, just like a breath of fresh air. So, face masking, doing some cleaning. This is my Saturday night tonight, you guys. Hello guys, it's Sunday now and I haven't really looked at my footage from yesterday, but I feel like I don't have as much footage as I would like to. So I'm vlogging today as well, and I'm just gonna combine them into like a weekend vlog. But I'm about to prop the camera, but I just wanna catch up with you guys. Mr. Squirt is back here chilling. Because I feel like I didn't actually get that much footage and talk much about the march yesterday. It was my first time like, doing a march, doing a protest. It was a very peaceful protest. I'm sure all of you guys like saw everything on social media that there was marches in probably ever, every major city in the country as well as marches outside of our country too. I was just so impressed with the diversity of people that were there. I guess I didn't really know what to expect because I had never been a part of it before, but there was, I mean, every, every single type of person from toddlers to you know older people and families and dads and moms with their little small children and you know a bunch of men and women my age and older and younger and it was just awesome to see that and I'm pretty sure that it was like the most packed I've ever seen downtown I mean it was absolutely ridiculous, but in a cool, really awesome way. The streets were completely shut down. Almost everyone had signs. We had a sign, um, and it was just so. It was just so awesome and so powerful. Yesterday really made me feel like uplifted and like just good about things. Like-minded people are are there and that people aren't gonna stop and people want to see change and want to see this country, you know, just move forward in a more like unified way. And so that's really what I got out of yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed the bit of footage that I did get. So many more people there than they were expecting that like we couldn't even move. I mean, my street was literally just people were going this way in the same direction for like, just hours of the whole day like we just walked out of my door and we were in the march it was so like cool to just live in this and witness this and felt you know like blessed yesterday to be a downtown LA resident but also just to be like a woman and to just be like a young person and to just be you know somebody that has a voice and so I hope that me speaking to you guys can you know influence you guys to just always stand up for what's important to you and what is right and your rights and everyone has their different opinions and everyone is you know entitled to have their own opinion but you guys can completely develop your opinions about things. It doesn't have to be what your parents believe. It doesn't have to be what your friends believe. You don't have to go along with the crowd or maybe, you know, you live in like the South or you live in a part of the country or a part of the world where everyone kind of, maybe there's like a certain belief that everyone believes in or everyone, you know, is a certain, like identifies with a certain religion or a certain political party or whatever it is, a certain belief. And I just want you guys to know that you can always have your own beliefs and your own opinions. And whether you want to keep that to yourself or share that with the world is completely, you know, your decision, but you are always entitled to believe what you want to believe and stand up for what you think is right. Yesterday was awesome. <laughs> um, today, I just went to brunch actually. I was in a rush and I forgot to bring my camera. Flop! But I went to brunch with Megan, Ollie, and Cameron Phillips. And that was amazing. It was so good. I'm pretty full right now. And um, that's why I'm kind of like dressed up a little bit. I'm about to just chill for a little bit. I'm gonna watch some, a series of unfortunate events on Netflix. And then Megan and I are going to go to um, Jaden and Leah's play, which is the girls that she babysits for. So they're putting on a little play in a couple hours. So we're gonna go and see that. It's like violently downpouring today. It has been violently downpouring in LA basically since I got back like about two weeks ago. Um, almost every day it's rained since then. I think and um, or been like really gloomy but it's so nice because we really need this rain here and I feel like I'm just going off on like a tangent right now so I'm gonna stop talking but yesterday for the March was the one day that it did not rain mother nature just kind of giving us a sign that was like yesterday is the perfect day to just like do this I don't know it just feels 
so gloomy in LA when it's really gray and rainy because usually LA is like very sunny and dry so um, yesterday we got like a beautiful day and then today um, and Friday and probably every other day this week was like really violently rainy but now I'm just going off about the weather which no one cares about so um I'm gonna leave now oh it is coming down out there but Megan is about to come pick me up and we're gonna head to Santa Monica for the girls play oh gotta love the fluorescent school lighting yeah we are yeah, here we are here at the play there's the stage and the little kitties are gonna come out pretty soon the little nuggets Whenever I'm scared, I try to think of my favorite things. I always end up feeling better. Like what? Well, like raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad. Time has come for the end of the vlog. I don't even remember if I finished off the vlog last night, honestly. Um, I got really tired when I went home and I just like watched a little bit of a series of unfortunate events, which I just finished actually last night on Netflix. So I really enjoyed it, would recommend. Then I just honestly like got ready for bed and went to sleep, but the girls play was adorable. I got a few clips from that that I'll insert, but um, they did the sound of music. I hope you guys enjoyed this combined like weekend vlog. If you guys enjoyed this video and you made it to the end, you're the real MVP. So leave a comment down below if you made it till the end and also give this video a thumbs up and let me know what other vlogs, like topics you guys would want me to touch on or just other like vlog ideas thank you guys for coming to watch as always i love you i hope you know that and i hope you have an awesome week